This week we're taking a look into my process for writing music for films and looking at how it affects the emotion of a scene. I think there's a real temptation with music to rush into making loads of tracks, drums and all these other instruments, but I'm yet to find a piece of music that can't be fully encapsulated on an emotional level when it's played on a single instrument like a piano. So let me show you what I mean. Now that's a very simple piece of music from Jurassic Park and it's used when they're arriving on a helicopter at this brand new island and this island happens to be Jurassic Park with all these dinosaurs so it's really trying to be impressive and grandiose and I think that's what this piece of music achieves. And that's just on a piano so it's even more intense when it's got the big orchestra and the big arrangement. Now same composer and this has a very different kind of sound. It's quite scary, quite worrying, like there's something bad is about to happen. Especially when that happens. Now, this is a very simple piece of music, especially that part, and yet it's very emotional and it really does sound like quite scary. So if we were to use a different two notes, for example, something equally simple, Suddenly we haven't got such a scary shock. So we know that we can get a bunch of different moods out of one piece of music from that to... But what if we want to make our own music? Now I personally like to start with chords and I play by ear so we can do something like this. There's another one. And... Okay, so if those were our chords... How do we make it into a piece of music? Well, let's try and start with something that's very jolly. So we could start with this. It sounds a bit silly, a bit jolly, but what if we wanted to change it into something that had a completely different mood? Well, we can change just one note of that and same chords, just with a couple of little changes. We start with this. And let's change that from a major to a minor. Or in the scheme of things. But we now need to change the rhythm, I think, because it doesn't seem to fit so well with those notes. So let's change it to just a straight rhythm. idea. So now let's just slow it down a bit and I think this will end up sounding quite sad compared to the original one which was very jolly. See what I mean? It sounds very different from the original that we started with. So there we go, we can change things a lot by just using rhythm, slightly different chords and the tempo at which we're playing. So what I'm really trying to show you here is that if you want to make a piece of music sad, you can't just play it on a violin. If it doesn't sound sad on a piano, it won't sound sad in the end. And that goes for all kind of emotions, whether it's you want to add energy or fear or happiness, sadness, whatever it is. So let's say that we're really happy with the emotion of this for our scene. So now is the time when we can bring that into the computer and start adding tracks and start adding other instruments. So I usually start with the main chords or the melody played on a piano or an electric piano for starters. After that, it's worth adding percussion. I found it easier to find interesting rhythms when I can work around the drums. Then with a few extra details, we've got a decent loop that we can repeat throughout. Now when I'm doing these episodes, it's all about speed. So I aim to have just two different sections that I can switch between. So for the second one, I'll do a similar process, starting with piano and building things up. And once I'm happy with it, we can bring in the visuals. There are a few kind of tools I like to use when structuring music for these episodes. Firstly, cutting out everything except the drums can be a nice change up 
I also look out for times to switch to the next section that has the different chords. I like making a kind of staircase, gradually introducing each instrument if I want to build up the intensity over time. We can also shorten or lengthen some parts so that the end of a section of music lines up perfectly with something in the visuals. For example, cutting out the music completely, which often adds a real weight to what the person's saying if there's dialogue. But the key thing is to always go back to what is the emotion of this scene when it comes to timing, rhythm, and matching up syncs with different kind of parts of the film. So that's it for this week, and I'll see you next time.